and went right into San Diego State with high SAT scores. Smart guy, great boy, and his family is devastated. Attorney James France announcing a civil lawsuit on behalf of Benjamin Brennan, a former SDSU student. The lawsuit claims Brennan, then a 19-year-old freshman from Pennsylvania, was nearly killed during a hazing incident at the Kappa Sigma frat house two years ago. Attorneys say during an initiation ritual, Brennan was detained by frat members who forced him to consume potentially deadly amounts of alcohol and drugs. A bottle like this, 700. 50 milliliters of straight rum. You're going to drink that. You have 30 minutes to consume it. And by the way, we're going to give you some other things to make it easier for you. Marijuana and strong tobacco. Attorneys say the teenager then passed out and became unresponsive. So they grab his lifeless body, put it in their car, a couple of the members, take it over to the local emergency room, and when they got there, what did they do? They left him there. They didn't identify who he was. Attorneys say Brennan went into a coma, given a 1% chance of survival. He pulled through, but continues to suffer from severe physical and emotional injuries. If he had died, it could have been a manslaughter charge. The lawsuit claims frat members conspired and tried to cover up their actions, telling investigators they had nothing to do with it. Nine frat members are named in the lawsuit. Attorney Mike Perez says San Diego State also conducted an investigation for honor code violations. We have been able to confirm that seven of the students who were involved in this hazing were ultimately suspended from school. Attorneys say at the time the fraternity was already under suspension from the university for more than a year. The fraternity and the National Fraternal Organization that manages the fraternity are also named in the lawsuit. Attorneys also pass along a message from the victim's family. And the family wants everyone to know this needs to stop. They don't want this happening to anyone else, any other students, children, and the family members. It's just terrible what's happened here. Again, this is a civil case. Attorneys say there's also a potential criminal case that SDPD just wrapped up its investigation, which was passed along to the district attorney's office. Reporting downtown, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News.